Okay, so here's how uh, to do the neti. <clears throat> Keep your nostrils clear and uh, improve sinus health. Uh, get rid of that stuff that clogs up in the nose uh, throughout the day during these troubling times. Uh, so you get the neti pot. If you have the catheter you stick up your nose, then uh, let's do that later. You have the neti pot. You have a pot. You put water in this. You should boil the water first. I use a kettle. You can also use distilled water. Uh, so I boil it and then I let it dry and <laughs> cool down. Um, and then I, uh, have it in here, so I boil it, pour, it gets cold, um, over many, many hours, I just kind of leave it over for the next day, um, or overnight, and then <clears throat> when you're going to do your neti, you put in a sufficient amount of boiled or clean water, um, to heat it up, uh, so you... Put some in there. Maybe a little bit more. I'll try that. And then you have the salt. Uh, so yeah, just put some salt in. Uh, I don't have any measuring instruments where I am, so I'm just kind of going by feeling. Uh, and you can feel uh, quite uh, quite clearly. If there is too much salt, um, it can get kind of cloggy and it can hurt to put uh, the water through your nose. And if there is not enough salt, uh, then it's just like pure water. And it doesn't really have much to cling to and it uh, hurts. Uh, so <clears throat> once you think you have warm enough water, hopefully this isn't too warm, and enough salt, or not too much salt, uh, you pour it. Um, this is best to do outside. I'm doing this in the uh, kitchen at the moment. All right, so you pour into your neti. And so then, <clears throat> You should bend over a little bit, try to keep a straight back, uh, and then put it, let me move the sponge, put it into one of your noses, nostrils, and you turn, and soon you're going to turn some more, but make sure that you don't move your mouth all that much, uh, and that it's all kind of like at that angle, so it's all just going through your nostril, um, and not the mouth. Then you lean forward. There we go. Oh, I'm a little slow today. It's all right. Pay attention. I feel a little salt water in my throat. This might take some time. Feel free to skip ahead. So we set fail on that mouth. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, that's enough for that. Close one nostril, get it out a little bit, and uh, <clears throat> then uh, you can use a tissue. Try not to blow too hard because then it can go to the eardrums or the ears somehow. We'll blow more of that out later. Spit if you need to. 
pour another glass, another shot, another uh, you know, medicine for your nose. Oh, I'm just about running out of here. Just enough. Okay. Uh, do the other side. Same thing. Breathe through your mouth. Woo! Yeah! Feels good. Should feel a little bit more warm. Okay, so next, uh, you should take some care to blow your nose. Uh, so, using a tissue is, is alright, but not really ideal. And this clearing out part is what uh, the other videos I've seen just leave out. So, yeah, um, here's uh, the way I clean, learned to clean out uh, at Tattva Yoga Shala uh, with Upendra Ji uh, at the in Rishkesh uh, in, in Ramjula, uh, India. Um, and uh, you're welcome to adapt this, however, it's not really an exact science. Um, so, uh, you might want to have a tissue on hand. You might want to be doing this outside, uh, especially in the beginning or over sink. But um, but there's very little coming out of my nose now after doing this every day. So it's quite all right to just keep this underneath. So first thing you're gonna do. Uh, actually, it doesn't have to be the first thing. Oh, things you should do. Uh, first, just kind of. Oh my. Bend over and breathe through the nose, out quickly. And then you can close one nostril and breathe out another, turning your head to the side. Uh, notice my feet are kind of just together to some extent. Um, that's not necessary. And it's just one of the postures. And then feet still kind of like that. You go up and down. Maybe like 10, 20 times. And then, uh, spread your feet, spread your legs. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. And uh, do the same thing. So you bend and Make sure you clear that nose as much as possible. And then, legs still apart. Yeah. 
bend, bend the knees, and uh, the other knees bent too, just so you know. Um, this doesn't need to bend fully. Uh, and then you bend over, and you go from one side to the other. Other nostril. If it's your first few times, maybe the first few weeks, you might be finding large globules of snot coming out. This is perfectly normal. Uh, by this time though, you might be finding that something that was blocked may no longer be, or may be less blocked. Um, and uh, things might be flowing a little bit better. The, there might be a little bit less knot in there. Because uh, it's not just knot in here, it's not like all up here, it goes up and around. Um, and then you should, might want to do, uh, like breathe in one nostril. And then out the other, like really fast. So like, and then switch. Tissue, always pretty helpful. Okay, so my nose is mostly clear now. It used to take like 20 minutes to do that. Um, so uh, dedicate enough time for that. And maybe a couple more processes to do after that. Uh, remember that eventually graduate into putting something like this or something that's wax um, up through your nose and out your mouth and flossing. Um, that's a uh, next step. Uh, it's good to um, gargle some water because you have some salt in your throat probably. Drink some water too. And then um, take some tissues and go to a place where you can lie down. Um, and uh, well, lie down or do uh, an inversion. Uh, so. So child's pose is good to do here for about two minutes and you just breathe here. And you'll notice that you uh, start clearing out some water. It's a rather nice, restful place to be. I quite like it. And then after two minutes, this hasn't been two minutes, but after two minutes, you know, might blow your nose a little bit more. An alternative you can do is like a Downward dog. That's, downward dog is great for clearing out the sinuses. And 
and uh, you can also hold that for two minutes. So remember, it's not a hard and fast science. Just do whatever is good for you. Do whatever clears it for you. And when you have cleared your nostrils, Oh gosh, look, that, that got a lot out of it. And then you are pretty much good to go. You uh, just did uh, a uh, yogic cleansing practice to a certain extent. And uh, the well, the netty. Um, and it's uh, good to do like asanas afterwards or pranayama afterwards. Um, also, if this is the only thing you want to do, that's fine too. Um, after all that work to get the stuff out, you should be pretty good to go. When I started with using the neti pot in the western way, um, I didn't really know how to get rid of the stuff inside my nose. So I often, and I, I didn't really know how important it was to do that. So I often went to bed with all this water clogged up in my nose. Um, and that wasn't very good. And I was using it during like, having colds and stuff. Um, when it's especially important to get stuff out of your nose. Um, and, and also when it can be really helpful to use the neti. Um, so I do the neti, uh, once every day, but this is largely because I'm recovering from a, a three year long, uh, serious, sinusitis like uh illness condition um and a uh, um uh, uh, nasal turbinate copulation surgery um that happened a few months ago so for me it may be different than for you you may benefit from just doing it once every week but one thing to keep in mind we generally uh have very clogged noses in modern, uh, mostly Western populations, um, just uh, by, by like what we eat and uh, what we breathe uh, and uh, the little exercise that we do, just the way we live. So um, uh, um, in order to experience like clearing out your nose, it may take a couple tries uh, to really get stuff out there, maybe, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, so maybe start uh, every day for a little while and then see where it goes from there. See what works for you. So thanks for joining me on this journey, at, uh, this daily journey of uh, the neti pot. Uh, have a wonderful Nettie and today and and whatever you're having. Uh, goodbye.